Hi, it's Jamie Harlett here again from Crossfader and welcome back to the Serato DJ Lite tutorial series on how to get started as a DJ. Now hopefully you've watched the previous videos and learned a thing or two, but you're going to want to think about the next steps and that's what this video is all about. I'm going to show just some of the hardware that you can start thinking about purchasing as a DJ to take your skills to the next level. Let's take a closer look. Here we have the Roland DJ202 controller. Now what a controller does is it maps out to the Serato DJ Lite software. This is the software you've been using up until this point. But the controller then unlocks way more features. For example, rather than using those plus and minus buttons, we can use the jog wheel to nudge the track left and right. We also have EQs which allow you to balance between the two tracks when you're mixing and blending so that you can add certain frequencies such as the bass or the vocals, also known as the low, mid and high. We have access to performance features, the ones you're used to that we've just used in the last two lessons, hot cues and loops. But then there are also some other performance features on this controller. For example, there's a sequencer which is built into this controller. You can activate different kick drums, snare drums, claps and jam along to whatever you're playing with. There's also a sampler as well, which is similar, but inbuilt into the Serato DJ software. Up along the top, rather than using your mouse to change the BPM, we have a tempo just here, which you can then bring the track faster or slower, just like we did with the mouse within the software. Lastly, there are some effects that we can then use and apply in our DJ sets, something we don't have access to with just the software by itself. Once you've mastered the basic features on the controller and on the Serato DJ Lite software, you can then easily upgrade to the Serato DJ Pro software. This then unlocks way more performance features. You will get access to way more effects up on the controller and then other things like beat jump mode, slicer mode and loads of other performance features. But that's just something to think about further down the line. If you decide you want to make a bigger investment initially, then you could look at something like this, the Roland DJ505. This is the next controller up in the Roland series of Serato controllers, and as you can tell, it's just a bit bigger. We've got slightly bigger tempo adjusts, some really amazing music production features, such as a step sequencer to incorporate live drums and live sampling into your DJ sets, and best of all, it comes with the Serato DJ Pro license, so there's no need to buy that separately like with the Roland DJ202. The great thing about the Serato DJ Pro software is that it plugs and plays with lots of different DJ equipment. For example, the Denon DJ SC5000 Prime works in something called HID mode. So you can take a USB cable from your laptop and plug it straight into the back of the player. This then allows you to control tracks from the player within the Serato DJ Pro software. Moving across, you can actually use turntables and things called control vinyls with an expansion pack in the Serato DJ Pro software called DVS. Now this may be a bit more complicated, but it's just worth knowing that later down the line, you could buy some turntables and control the music from within the Serato DJ Pro software. So firstly, let me say thank you so much for watching this tutorial series. I hope you've gained some knowledge from it and it's actually started you on your journey to becoming a DJ. Now this equipment that I've just shown you is not the only equipment obviously that's out there. There's loads of other brands like Pioneer, Newmark, and obviously Denon that we looked at, but it's just for you to get an idea of what is possible with different pieces of equipment. They all go up at different price brackets and if you want to find out more about in particular DJ controllers or hardware, then just check out some of the other reviews on our channels. As always, if you have any comments, just drop them in the box below and I'll do my best to get back to every single one of you. Happy mixing, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in another of our tips and tricks videos or maybe more advanced lessons very soon.